I tried nine times before, but those were really fake attempts. Those were not really wholehearted attempts. Those mm. were just, you know, fad diets. Let me try this diet. The, this diet came out or, you know, whatever fad diet. And I would try it and I would lose 20, 30 pounds, but I put it all back on. You know, I yeah. wasn't really serious. And uh, a lot of those things were not really sustainable to begin with. And so uh, once I made the decision and then I incorporated uh, my business mindset to it. And then I had the fire in my belly because of my children, you know, my family. So yeah, I guess that it's a, it. a very powerful turning point when your, your young daughter says something like, like that to you. Yeah. Yeah. That did it for me. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, so you mentioned, and that leads me on to my next question. You mentioned you tried and failed nine times before. What do you feel the biggest challenge was holding you back on those nine attempts? And more importantly, what was different this time around? I didn't have the right mindset. I was lying to myself. I was kind of like, you know, it was a fad. Like, I'm going to try it. But I didn't really see myself. I didn't have a vision board. I didn't really talk to my family about it. I didn't get everybody on board. I didn't have my nutrition in check. You know, it was more like just... It was just winging it, you know, and uh, I wouldn't do that in anything else I do in my life, business wise mm. and personal wise. And I wasn't asking anybody for advice. I wasn't getting coached, you know, and so it, 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 I wasn't really serious. And I didn't put any money into it, too. Like, you know, like what is join a gym, have a couple of shakes. Like, what is that? How is that real effort to undo the pounds and pounds and pounds of damage that I did? Seriously, like, sure. You, you know, more people, people put more money into their car after a car accident than they do after a body accident. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, I wasn't really serious. So I wasn't putting a dollar in and I had the money. So it was just like, how serious was I, you know? So, and it's the problem with a lot of people that they'll see value in fixing their house or, you know, if the kitchen cabinet breaks, all of a sudden some miracle money appears, you know, like, but, you know, God forbid you ask them to hire a trainer. Oh, wait, you got to be a millionaire. Like, you know, so it's just that that's the thing. So for me, uh, you know, I just had to really take it serious. Yeah. We always find money for what's most important for us. We always find money and we always find the time to do what we're most, we most value. I think you mentioned like at the end of the movie, a crackhead without a job will find a way of feed in that addiction because we, yeah. always, we always find you know the things that are most important to us we always become the most resourceful oh yeah i looked at you know the the bodybuilding community it's a very expensive sport they have to have coaches nutritionists yeah. a lot of those people don't have money and a lot of them if you're really a pro you can't sustain a job and you're not getting endorsements and sponsorships and stuff like that and um they find a way they find a way they're very resourceful. they use the law of attraction power of positive thinking yeah. they're able to, to you know attract that money because it's something they really want 